United States of America would like to invite you to come spy with me. Linda Graves from Wisconsin. <laughs> I think she's ready. Is she broke? Thanks to me. She saved four years for this trip. Naturally, she was hoping I'd help her stay on for a while. Naturally. So I don't suppose I could have a little advance on. Kind of short on beer and gas money. Thanks. Linda? Linda Graves? Yes? <laughs> I'm not a narc. And I wasn't sent by your parents. I'm Jackie Donner, the Pacific Modeling Agency. We handle all the top girls in this part of the world. And I think if you could stay over, even for a few months, you could make yourself a lot of money. Who told you my name? The young man up the beach, for one. He seems anxious for you to stay on. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything now. Think it over. And if you decide to join us, I can promise you an unforgettable experience. Thanks. Let me make my pretty little pictures, honey. Oh, please help me. You want me to make him stop? Yes, I'll do anything. Anything, I swear. Good, that's what I like to hear. We don't like seeing pretty young things like you all bruised up. The customers don't like it. nobody to do nothing. They gotta want to. Don't strike her again. I don't take orders from any slopes. Him. 
He does a good job breaking in the new girls. But I don't want this one broken in. Of all the girls you've sent us, she is the most special. Aren't you, my dear? And she has a very important father. Haven't you, Arlene? Leave my father out of this. I don't understand. Secrets, my dear Jackie. Secrets. What are you talking about, secrets? Senator John Weyburn, this girl's father is one of the most influential members of the United States Senate Intelligence Committee, and she is going to be our little living gold mine right up till the time we kill her. Senator Wayburn's daughter has been kidnapped in Hawaii by the Yakuza. Familiar with that? Sure. The Japanese equivalent of our syndicate. Only a lot more ruthless. You got it. Now, according to Wayburn, the ransom demand is for $2 million. What do we have to do with kidnapping? Isn't that FBI? The $2 million is a smokescreen. These Yakuza want to try their hand at espionage. They want classified information from Weyburn. And that's worth a lot more than $2 million. He's going to pass Intelligence Committee secrets as ransom? He's going to pass himself as ransom. The Yakuza gets a hold of him, debriefs him. They've got all the information that's gone through the committee. Great. We're going to have to find that girl. Terrific. And we have to pull it off with tourists. Very special tourists this time, Casey. We usually recruit them for their particular skills. This time they'll have two. Did I pass? Pass? You're a menace. If I was the last one in the department who'd even agree to drive with you, I won't make that mistake again. How will I ever get my license back? Move to another state. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if I could be some help to you. You don't work for motor vehicles. Buzz off. Well, what if I am, in a way? Then you should be ashamed of yourself for ruining my life. Oh, wait a minute. Now, how's that? Well, in the first place, you took away my license for having too many accidents. Without a license, I couldn't get to work, and I lost my job. When I lost my job, my daughter, who I supported for 35 years, ran off with my boyfriend. And then things really started going bad. <laughs> now, wait, how'd you like to be right back behind that wheel again, huh? Driving with a year's salary in your pocket for good measure. You're cute. And I'm 67, so I'd listen even if I thought you were a sex maniac. <laughs> but what's the catch, darling? You're the worst driver in the state of California. But I'd like to see that driving put to good use, maybe to save some people's lives. And that'll bring up Steve Garvey. Nice to see you all. Take care. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Bye-bye. Good to see you. Thank you. Oh, here you go. Thanks for the use of your pen. Right. Enjoy it. That was really very nice of you in there, Mr. Garvey. Well, thank you, sir. I enjoy it. My name's Lavender. Lavender, my pleasure. I see you keep going during the off-season, huh? Well, I, I try not to get stale in the off-season. Things like this really make me feel good. You know, I could offer you kind of a job if you had the time. Well, I'm in the real in the off-season. I don't like to work for money. I just enjoy these things. Terrific. Uncle Sam will be delighted. We appreciate it. <laughs> Hot damn. You ought to see this one, Pop. Will you cut that out and get back to work? One lawsuit's enough. Quit worrying. They ain't got a case. We're painters. We're supposed to be looking in windows. Not when it's a lady's changing room. You know, you learn something every day. I always thought that the view was from the other side of the window. Uh, no, ma'am. Sometimes you have to get up real close to see the dirt. You bonehead. Now you've done it. Oh, that's okay. I need somebody who's observant. You're the banner chicks, right? 
Phil and Phil Jr.? The name's Bronco. Like that makes him a big man. The old man doesn't know when it's time to pass the baton on to youth. Oh, yeah? If someone gave you a baton, you wouldn't know what to do with it. That's why you're painting. Hey, save it. You'll have plenty of time to be hostile. Only this time, it'll be for your country. Oh, yeah? Why us? Because your credentials say that you're industrial painters and you're not afraid to work 32 floors above the ground. You know, it's amazing the difference in the taste in this stuff and the stuff that comes in the can, isn't it? Of course, that tuna is cooked. Why don't you try the sea urchin? No, no, I think I'm going to pass on the sea urchin. I'm getting a little full now. Maybe we'll have that when we get to Hawaii, huh? Hawaii? Yeah. Hmm. Could it be you, Miss Seattle? Could it be you, Miss Minneapolis? Could it be you, Miss Kansas City? Or could it be you, Miss New Orleans? It's you, Miss Seattle, Washington. Uh, I crown you Miss Teenage Beauty of the Year. Danny, put your tongue back in your mouth. Somebody might slip on it. Not a loser in the bunch. You know, Miss Kansas City gave a very nice dramatic reading for the talent offering. Excellent reading, she did. As if you noticed her talent. Now, wouldn't it be nice if the runners-up were offered something special by somebody for a change? Like a trip to Hawaii. Like a trip to Hawaii. Danny Lavender wants to sit in the lounge. <laughs> Danny, excuse me. The girl you're talking to is married to a hit man. See you later. For those of you I didn't recruit myself, my name's Lavender. And I want to thank you on behalf of the United States government. And now, I want you to look at something. Danny. These are ninja, an elite corps of killers that's employed throughout the Orient by the Yakuza. They're a criminal organization, so dangerous, they think the Mafia's a law and order group. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Now, it's not often these death squads venture beyond Asia, but today, one of their top teams is waiting for us in Honolulu. They don't know you're coming. So our team's mission is to prevent state secrets from falling into the hands of our country's enemies, and to do that, we have to locate and rescue this woman, Arlene Weyburn. Now, she's been kidnapped by these Yakuza white slavers because she's the daughter of Senator John Weyburn. Now, the Yakuza uses legitimate business as a front, same as the Mafia. For instance, this hotel where we'll be staying is owned by the Yakuza, and we believe they're holding Arlene Weyburn there. Ninja, Yakuza, it's all Greek to me. No. He's all Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no offense, but how are a nice group of people like this going to take on professional killers? I hope they do laugh, Steve. You see, we're two painters, sushi chef, a retired school teacher, best first baseman I know. And I'm head of your fan club. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you're the last people in the world the Yakuza would suspect. However, you're all martial arts experts, except for Steve, and that's why you've been recruited. Come on. Not her. She couldn't go a minute with a hummingbird. How'd you like your head in a bag, mister? Come on, Grandma. Please, sit down before you fall down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 
It's okay, Judy. Let me help you up. I can get up myself, Dad. I can get up. Any others, smart Alex? Sit down, Miss Parker. Okay, you've all met your team members, and you've also seen this opposition. They really are among the most dangerous killers in the world. If any of you want to back out, you've got to tell me now. It's okay, Junior. If you're scared, you can get out now. Terrific, I'm proud of you. You'll all be told your specific missions when we land. Thank you again, and welcome to Operation Masquerade. And those of you we've asked to be event monitors will be called a little bit later up in the working suite. Thank you very much. And please enjoy your Hawaiian holiday. You know, we've got a problem. A huge gorilla just ripped off the top four floors of the hotel. Great. Yeah. I think those three girls are going to have to move in with you. Yeah, right. What? What would you say? <laughs> the brain lives. What did you just say about the, the three girls? I was just trying to get your attention. Lavender says he wants those girls in his suite in five minutes. Now, this guy, Ian Baker, is the one who turned Arlene onto the modeling agency that made it possible for her to stay in Hawaii. Hmm? Talk about cute. Make no mistake, ladies. Arlene Weber isn't fighting for her life because this guy is Mr. Wright. You keep him at arm's length. Rosie, you got that? I can handle boys. Oh, for sure. I can. Okay, okay. Now, there'll be no problems as long as you stick together. Just never, ever deviate from the plan, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I'll go through it one more time. This is the first target. <laughs> Someone's towing your car in. My car? Yeah, you better go check it out. All right, go ahead. Take her out. Hey, hold it. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, damn it, that's my car! Hey, man. What the hell did you do that for? Broken tail light, two bald tires. You want me to go on? What kind of shucking is this, man? Every car around here has got at least as many things wrong. You know, that's why I picked this spot. So I can make my quote in one day, and then I can go surfing tomorrow, too. You know something? I'm gonna fight it. It'd be a lot cheaper if you just paid the fine, 20, 30 bucks. Maybe 50 for the tow, and you'd be off the hook. Well, where am I supposed to get that kind of money? Maybe the same place you got the money for that nice truck. Have a nice day. Charter. I won't be able to get home. You can catch a later flight. No, I can't. It was a tour. You can't use a ticket on a regular flight. I tell you, I'm stranded. Oh, come on. It's all right. Come on. Come on. That's what I call good looking, huh? Yeah. Are you in some kind of trouble, miss? Nothing you could help with. Okay. <clears throat> See you in court. In your plane. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, maybe I can help. Yeah. Why are you calling me? I told you 
I was taking a few days off. I got something hot. I'm talking really primo. And she's got two friends. Honey, I don't care if she lays golden eggs. I can't handle it now. And I told you never to call me here. I think you're making a mistake. Well, she wasn't interested? Oh, no. She, she, she's just real busy right now. Look, if uh, you're really stuck, so if you'd like, you can bump with me for a day or two until I get you in a seer. I don't think so. When did she start taking vacations anyway? Wait up. What's up? Your name's Rosie? Yeah. So, where are you from anyway? young man who called. Does he know about the operation, how the senator's daughter got here? Yes, he's the one who brought her to me. But he's a good kid. He keeps his mouth shut. Stakes are too high. Where can I find him? He's a nice boy. He is the link to you, and you are the link to us. Where would you like the chain broken? He's at Sunset Beach. His name's Ian Baker. Everybody knows him. All right, Annie. How do we do? We were right about this hotel anyway. The phone call Ian made was to a suite here, registered to Jacqueline Donner. But the phone's unlisted, and phone calls aren't coming through the hotel switchboard. Yeah, the suite's right there, though. Well, do you think the girl's there? Well, she's either there or she's within reach. Now, listen. Senator Weyburn comes in tonight. That doesn't give us much time. Let's try and draw out the people around her and find out what we're up against. That brings in you two. I've got your temporary jobs with the company that paints the building, okay? All right. And, Danny, you and I have to create a slight diversion. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? It's such a nice car. <laughs> Well, you just think of it more as a tank, okay? You see this windshield? That's bulletproof, and this body is armor-plated. It's all for your complete protection. Oh, my dream car! <laughs> okay. Now, you've got the route that we laid out, right? A piece of cake. Put the seatbelt on. Ah. Okay, Steve, let's go. Just crashing to the front of this hotel. Well, what about it? I'm not taking any chances. Send some men down there, cover the roof, and check all the approaches to this floor. Danny, it's Bronco. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Two went down the elevator, two went down the stairs, and two are on their way up to the roof. Up. Why up? Because I feel just fine. I mean, the brakes came out on me, that's all. <laughs> excuse me, wait, wait, excuse me, wait, wait, wait. What happened, Mrs. Parker? What happened? Yeah. What happened is he's here. Steve Garvey. You see, I saw him driving up. Maybe I was a bit too close, but... Oh, there he is. Hey, Steve! Steve Garvey! <laughs> it's me, C.C. Parker from your Long Beach fan club. Hi, Mrs. Parker. How are you? Uh, catch you later. <laughs> He's so shy. Please? 
Let go of me, buster. I'll let you know if I need help. Where are you taking her? She's part of our tour. I need to have her examined her report. We have the hotel doctor waiting, and we want to file our own insurance report. This lady is our responsibility. Insurance? Good. We might just sue. You just tell them everything they need to know, Mrs. Parker, okay? And I'll see you as soon as I get the tour back on schedule. Is that all right? Okay. Marion, get those pictures of those security guards. Okay, get them to Casey right away. All right. And by the way, where is uh, Nancy and Rosa? Well... Well, what? Come on. You're supposed to be with them. Where are they? They kind of wanted to go back to Sunset Beach. What? Look, Rosie, we've got to get back. I can't leave you here alone. Remember what Mr. Lavender said about him. That's what I'm here for. Maybe I'll find something out. Look, I'm 18 years old. I can take care of myself. Are you sure you're not falling for the guy? Oh, come on, Nance. It's always been nice. I'm no dummy. I'll see you in a couple hours. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is tell Lavender. And don't be surprised if you find yourself on the first plane out. she thinks she was doing? Didn't she tell her to break off contact with Ian after the phone call? Yeah, she thought she was helping. I told her any more improvising, I'd send all three of them back in the place. Plus, she's all right now, then. Yeah. Okay. What about the ninja on the beach? You get a look at him? No, nah, but I got uh, these. Here, these are taken outside the lobby. Take a look at their ears. They all wear these two-way radios. They got that floor covered. They'd waste some Sunday. She's up there somewhere. We could rush them with a SWAT team. Never get Arlene out alive. Look, I know these Yakuza. They never let themselves get boxed in. They'll have a way out after they kill them. All right. You two go back up on the building. I want a photograph of every room in that wing. Here, you can take it with this. This is terrific. I could use this in a hot tub. My son, the degenerate. Yeah. I'll be right there. That's it. I've got to go to the Senator's Hotel. He's getting a phone call from the kidnappers in ten minutes. This is Senator Waven. Welcome to Honolulu, Senator. Now listen carefully. We'll make the exchange soon. I want to talk to my daughter. Arlene? Arlene, are you there? Daddy, don't do what they say. They're going to kill 
kill me anyway. God, what are they doing to you? Arlene! Arlene? Your daughter is mistaken, Senator. Follow the instructions, or we will return her to you one lovely piece at a time. What do you want me to do? Stay close to the phone. We'll be in touch. We've got Weaver just like that. It looks like we've got it made. Anything on the trace? Yeah, the call was placed from the Wainama Valley. She might not be in the hotel at all. That's right. When they call back, I want choppers with locators to scour that whole valley. You got it. They'll be in the air waiting. Now, Senator, we're going to get it back. Where is she? Pretty got you right. I spoke to the president, sir. If you need any help with I can handle that. I can handle it. Sure. I've already made arrangements to sell what I can and uh, to borrow the rest. My daughter is a runaway, Mr. Lavender, and I can't expect the federal government to pay for my mistakes. I'd better get to the bank. He's lying in his teeth. God knows what I do in his place. We're in the air approaching the Wainema Valley. Standing by for next call. Roger Baker. Give him back his daughter. Perhaps. After he's told us everything he knows. <laughs> I love the way you think. Is that the only thing you like? I like everything you do. All right. They're getting it on. Will you try to remember why you're here? Give me that letter. These are good, fellas. These are real good. Except there's no sign of the girl. No. Did you see anything, anything else? Well, there's this one room. It's on the same floor, next to the ninjas. The drapes are always closed. Somebody's sleeping late. But there are lights on inside, Pop. And the maids never go in. Well, maybe there's a no disturb sign on the door. There was. I always look for those. No wonder we're getting sued. You are one nosy sicko. Wait, I'm going to check that room out. Okay, we'll check it out with this. What the hell is that supposed to do? It makes it possible for us to see through walls. Not the kind of pictures you're used to, Bronco. It's a heat scope. Come here, watch. I see it's picking up the heat in that corner of the room. In this case, it's Danny. But if there's a lamp, a warm appliance, it'll detect anything that emits heat. So I mean, if you point that at a room, you'll know who's inside? No, but we'll know if there are people and their location. Ah, well? Well, the old lady who crashed into the hotel is here with the tour. She's a retired school teacher from Long Beach, and her license was revoked over six months ago for multiple accidents and numerous violations. And of all the hotels in all the world, she had to pick this one to stage a comeback. What else did you find out? Well, nothing unusual on anybody else. But this baseball player checked in a little while ago, and he's creating quite a stir downstairs. Steve Garvey. Our friends and ninjas would sell their souls to meet him. They had souls. Well, I'm not into baseball. Steve Garvey played an exhibition game in Tokyo, and even the emperor came out to see him. Good. There's no indication anyone's on to us. Who is it? Room service with your order. Aloha. I've brought you something very special. Senator, we at the north end of the beach in exactly one hour. Will Arlene be there? I make the rules, Senator. You get her back when I get what I want. One hour. If you're not there, she's dead. I want to speak to my daughter. Of course. 
Daddy. I... I'm... I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for, dear. You'll be coming home real soon. Gay. They broke off the conversation. We have the vector. Should be able to zero in on the transmission point. There's nothing in there. You must be doing something wrong. Give me that. Well, am I right? You're right. It's empty. Lavender isn't going to like this. Yeah, you're dead right I don't like it, Phil. All right. Remember the curtained-off room where we thought Arlene might be? Yeah. She wasn't. You better hope those choppers come through. We've got the transmission pinpointed right down there on that ranch. Yeah, Captain, thanks. Chopper reconnaissance. They found a shack in the middle of nowhere full of telephone relays. Dead end. Another dead end. Well, I guess that's it. No, we're going to find her, Senator. We haven't found her up to now. I doubt very much we'll find her in the next hour. You know she's got to be in that hotel somewhere right under our noses. Uh, I know it. Got to get going. Senator, before you go, I'd like you to wear this. This way we'll be in constant touch. I want to thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate all that you tried to do. the ransom money, John. How long have you known? It was you they wanted, not the money, since the very beginning. I'm not a traitor, Mr. Lavender, believe me. And they'll never get anything out of me. Yes, they will, John. Whatever it takes. Drugs, torture, brainwashing, you'll tell them what they want to know. Everybody breaks in the end. You're wrong. Believe me, I'll, I'll not tell them a thing. Oh, for God's sake, Lavender, help me. She's my daughter. I love her. I'm trying, John. I'm doing everything in my power. Now, come on. Watkins! Let's get back to my hotel. Come on. I'm not going to let you do it. You know that, don't you? What? What are you talking about? What you did to the senator. You put enough explosives in his ear to put his head into orbit. I don't make the rules now. Well, I do, as far as my people are concerned. Listen, we cannot let that man go over to the other side. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I hear you warning me, but let me warn you. You're concerned with saving the life of one man. I'm concerned with the fact that that man is selling millions of dollars of top-secret information to get his daughter back. You're saying I don't care about our country's secrets? If we can save the man, let's save him. Well, it's a matter of priorities, isn't it? You heard the senator on the phone. He's ready to go to pieces. He could pop at any minute. Oh, he's a real animal, isn't he? You got any kids, Watkins? Uh, yes. Wait a minute. I've got my orders to follow. To. What the hell do you expect me to do anyway? Just disregard everything they tell me in Washington? What the hell is that? I'll check it out. Old lady visiting her baseball player. 
I don't like it. Also, two of the ninjas are sick. Sushi's gotten rid of two more ninja. There's still no sign of the girl. Where's Weber? On his way to the rendezvous. You know, it's impossible to get an elevator around here, so in case we have to get out of here in a hurry. I'll shut down one of the elevators for our use. Well, that's good. That's good thinking. It's going to take some time. I'll see you in Tokyo when it's all over. Just like you thought, right underneath our noses all the time. In the basement? We looked there. No, not the basement. Now, if I'm right, she's even closer than that. We're running out of time, Daddy. Wayburn's crossing the beach. They're going to move her. Not without coming down here, they're not. Look, I came down here to shut down one of the elevators in case we had to get off that floor in a hurry. You already told me that. Yeah, I know. Well, the elevator's shut down already. It's sitting up there on the penthouse floor. What the hell happened? He just put the elevator back in service. That's it. They're going to move her. Okay. Get your people and back up. This is it. You got it.
Lavender. You are going to blow him away. I told you I wouldn't let you do it. I can't let him get in that boat. He's not on it yet. But when he is, he's out of my range, and there's no way to get him. When he sees Arlene, he'll turn around. Now, give him 30 seconds. Your 30 seconds is up, Lavender. Oh! Senator. Give me the briefcase, Senator. Ah! Not even a pitcher. <laughs> well, Lavender, you know, I'm not used to working in the off-season, so I may have to send you a bill. Oh, now, wait a minute. That's a yearly salary I can't meet, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Hey, wait a second, everyone. Let's have a toast to our host. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's to you. You did all the work. Casey, Danny, the Vanacek's, little Miss Parker. Where's Miss Parker? <laughs> physicist is attending a symposium in Nice, and he's going to defect in two days from now. Our job is to protect him. Come on! Was I adequate? Well, I'm taking you out tomorrow. My car, 12 noon. He's moving. Get him, get him! This is David Hartman. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, Dick Clark in the top records of 1983. Also, Glenn Close joins us, plus Larry Hagman, William Shatner, and Cher with New Year's resolutions on Good Morning America. Saturday, Doc discovers he's a dad on the love boat. Then a widow and her daughter both fall in love with the same man on Fantasy Island. <laughs>